In this module, we explore how to ensure the barcode will scan. You need to consider what barcode type you're using. That you've captured the data correctly using the GS1 application identifiers in the correct order. The barcode is of the required size and the print quality meets required minimum standard. Using verification equipment checks all of these. Scanning the barcode with a smart device can help you check for the barcode type and data structure, but not the size and print quality. Verification does not check the human readable interpretation. Here's an example of a GS1128 barcode that has very poor print quality. You can see that the bar starts to merge as the ink is spreading, making it impossible to scan. Here's an example of a GS1 data matrix barcode where you can see the horizontal white lines running through the image, making it much more difficult for the scanner to read. Not all printing issues are as easy to spot making verification essential. Here's an example of some of the data from a verification report. It shows the overall grade of 4.0, the highest quality grade. The minimum grade is 1.5. It shows the symbol type, the decoded text, and the GS1 data and structure pass fail. Further down the report, we see the data structure table detailing all the application identifiers and data captured. Here's another example report. This GS1128 is being checked against symbol specification table eight for the barcode size for a product going into general distribution. So it may be sitting on a conveyor belt going past the scanner in a fixed position. So the barcode must be much bigger. Here we can see the X dimension and the height do not meet the minimum requirements. The verifier is set to give these warnings and at the same time gives us the quality grade value of 2.6. The minimum grade is 1.5. In this example, we can see the grade is zero. We have the warning that the X dimension is too big, but the, sim the symbol and data is correct. So what's the problem? The verifier has been set to give a fail grade if the X dimension or height is outside the GS1 limits. This can be changed in the software settings. In this example, we see a fail. So what's the problem? We can see that the quality grade against all the measures is a grade four. So that's not the problem. See how different the structure report looks to the one earlier. This is because the brackets have been captured in the barcode by mistake, so data is not being split out into the individual elements. We can see that verification provides a lot of information about the barcode and how important it is to use verification to make sure customers can scan the barcode and get the data they need in the correct format.